All up in here. Hey, my name is Ben Krentz, owner of Conequip Parts, and today we are going to be doing Conequip 101. We're going to talk about hydraulic cylinders. Might sound simple, easy to some, but you know what? We've found that actually it can be a bit confusing and there's some issues sometimes. So, on today's episode, I'm going to walk you through a bunch of different hydraulic cylinders. Follow me this way. There's some issues and conflicts that happen with hydraulic cylinders and understanding what the actual name of it is. So here's a rule of thumb. Whatever the hydraulic cylinder controls, that is the name of it. Right this way. Whew, has a long walk. This cylinder right here. This connects and runs the function of the bucket. Therefore, this cylinder is called a bucket cylinder. So this is called the rod. This is called the barrel. So we move on up. And if you can see way up top here, Steve, can you follow me up here, buddy? I'll try. All the way up here. Oh, yeah. All the way up in here, up in here. Hopefully you can see that in there. That cylinder extends the hole part to give you a longer and deeper dig depth. Now that is an option on backhoes. Not all machines have them. Next, what am I standing on? Here's one of the issues. Some people think, well, it's on the boom. It must be the boom cylinder. But what was the rule of thumb that we talked about in the beginning? What function does it control? Well, this actually, chrome rod part coming up, connects to the good old stick, also known as the dipper. So this would be the dipper cylinder. All up in here. Woo! Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Next, we got the boom cylinder. We call them the bada boom cylinders. Kind of hidden sometimes on backhoes. Again, the function, as our rule of thumb, it controls the boom to go up and down. Guys like to say, well, it's the cylinder closest to the cab. Down at the base of our swing frame, we got a cylinder here and also another cylinder on the other side. So what function does this control? Well, it swings the hoe part back and forth, also known as the swing cylinder. One more up here for the rear. Stabilizer cylinder. Up and down, up and down, make my machine stable. Once in a while, there are left and right hand sides that do make a difference, but at Conequip Parts, we do have to uh, offer aftermarket, which at that point, it's not gonna matter. You can use it on either side. We have a couple more hydraulic cylinders up front here. What do we have? Well, let's start right up here. Connected to the boom. However, what is the function? Goes all the way down. Oh, that looks like it tilts the bucket. That must be a tilt cylinder. And sure enough, it is. On the back side, as you can see right in through here, we've got a cylinder that connects to the lift arms or the lift frame. So we call it the lift cylinder. Okay. So this particular backhoe has a four in one bucket or a clam bucket as they call it sometimes. So this portion opens up. And in order to do that, they need hydraulic cylinders on the bucket to actually make that function happen. So if we look on the back side of the bucket, here you go, here's our hydraulic cylinder. Same looking one on the other side. All right, so this is connected to the bucket and its function is to open and close the bucket. Therefore, it's called a bucket cylinder. Now we uh, obviously talked about a bucket cylinder earlier. So when you're calling into us, you need to make sure that we confirm with you, are you talking about the hoe part bucket cylinder or the front loader part bucket cylinder? So that's gonna wrap up the episode of Conequip 101. Thanks for calling us, 1-888-983-7847. Be more than happy to help you out with new, used, aftermarket, rebuilt 
whatever's in your budget and whatever you guys need in order to make your machine up and running. We're here to help. Peace out till next time.